Hi, so I am here today to just talk quickly about um, reality therapy and choice theory. I know that I do have um, another post with it on, but I don't think that the volume works very well. Um, so I wanted to talk about it again. Um, so before I jump into the key players of reality therapy, um, I want to focus on what it actually is. So reality therapy focuses on problem solving through means of developing awareness of choices and behaviors in the here and now. The big takeaway from the theory is that the only person that you can change is yourself. Therapists work with clients to help them realize that no matter the situation, they're in control of their own behaviors and thoughts. Um, so the key players, so the first one is William Glasser. He is the founder of reality therapy. Um, he highly rejected Freudian approaches and he especially started rejecting them when he saw that other psychoanalytic trained therapists were not using his techniques. Um, so reality therapy was originally called reality psychiatry. Um, Gloucester believed that clients had to accept responsibility for their own behavior and he began searching for theories that would explain his work and he came across control theory. Um, he worked on it for 10 years and he revised it and expanded it and eventually turned it into choice theory. So he just changed the um, name up just a bit. Um, the second uh, key player is Robert Wobelding. Um, he was appointed to be director of training for William Glasser Institute by Glasser himself, and he is currently the director of reality therapy in Cincinnati. His big contribution to reality therapy is the WDEP system. The WDEP system is an acronym, and the acronym stands for W, wants and needs of the client, D, direction and doing, so where the action was going to be taking them, E for self-evaluation, and P for planning. WDEP system provides a basis for conceptualizing and applying choice theory. Um, so in this video, I wanted to focus mainly on the pros of the therapy. Um, so I have three here. So number one, one of the greatest things about this theory is that it can be used in a variety of settings and with a diverse population. Um, the practice is dependent on results of self-evaluation of the client, and once the client figures out what they want most out of their life, um, their ideal life, which is their um, quality world, they can then see and determine the plan on how they want to approach it um, to be consistent with their cultural values. Number two, um, it encompasses humans as one. So this um, is a focus on things that we all have as humans. So relationships, we all have them, we all try to maintain them their individual internal needs, and the inevitability of people having to make choices every day in their lives. Um, bringing people together in this aspect helps apply this approach in a multicultural setting. The third pro um, was it's easy to apply in group settings. So it focuses on relationships. So obviously in a group setting, you can focus on those as well. Um, it helps clients with feedback from leader and members and um, helps the individual formulate realistic and attainable plans. Um, lastly, I really just quickly wanted to talk about why I personally thought or what I personally thought were the pros of this therapy. Um, so one, it's an easy approach to practice. There are no specific techniques and it focuses on a collaborative relationship, which I am a strong believer in. Number two, emphasis on action. I think it is definitely important to have action as part of your plan because to say something in therapy and then to do something is completely different. Um, Number three, it sends an empowering message to clients. It challenges them to be their best and most fulfilled self. So last but not least, um, one thing a pre-service counselor must need must know before this approach about this approach, I'm sorry, is that it is not is that it is to not totally reject clients' past. So reality therapists like to focus on the present. They like to focus on the here and now, and they don't think that the past is conducive to um, creating changes in the future. So I think that is important for these therapists to know that there are things in the past that we should focus on. Um, sometimes therapists have to listen to the past behaviors because the past behavior may be repeated in the present. Um, we need to make sure that the client is not rejecting these past behaviors and their actions. Um, so although I focused on the pros in this video, I know that there are also many cons. Um, but as of now or for now, I wanted to focus on, the, focus on the pros because I thought that it gave a good insight as to why people chose to be reality therapists.